everybody Debbie here welcome to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch today I hope you enjoy this and this is part two of a series I'll put part one in the description the description box below so that if you haven't seen that you can go watch that first and if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for coming back I really do appreciate it and I hope you enjoy the second part of this project so I am doing an envelope flip book slash journal I am at the stage now where I have to add some papers to this and I want to cover my pages. So I am using this Thankful Heart paper pad from Michael's Recollections. I have so, I have a few pages left and so many scraps from this that I've kept aside and cut apart and bits of pages. So I am definitely going to have fun. I'm working on using this paper pad up. It's last year's um, fall slash Thanksgiving paper. It's awesome. I love it and I want to use it. So I'm getting down there, but I'm not done yet. So let's get into decorating this flip book. So I'm going to do my front first. So what am I going to put on my front cover, guys? I'm running out, but this paper is just so stinking pretty that I want to use every page of it. I still have another page of that. I could put um, this all the way around if I don't decide on something else. pretty even that's pretty so yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do my front and back cover all the same and I'm gonna run this all the way around and it'll still give me some of that wood grain left over because I don't need it all so I've decided on that one first little one so what I have to do is measure, so this is my front, so I'm going to measure uh, seven inches will go from here over to here, or just over six and a half will go from there to there. And then this is another six and a half. So I think what I'm going to do is measure six inches off of this. So I have a full six inch piece left because I have enough of this to go around and reinforce that spine. I'm just gonna go shy of six inches. There. So this measurement here, let's take it. So that take that measurement and cut this piece at the length that you want and then do your other piece because the 12 inches won't go all the way around mine. But if your 12 inches will go all the way around yours, you don't have to do this. You could just wrap it the 12 inch piece all the way around. Just cut off what you don't need. Okay, so let's put this thing together. Let's get the front and back cover done. Back first. This one. So the back first, like that. So this is going here. If this is the back, that will be the downside. Everything has to be thought out, especially if you're using paper that has direction. So I'm going to do this here. I'm 
But I'm also going to take this glue and I'm going to brush a little bit of this around the edge. Because there's no way I want this peeling up at the edges. And I don't trust my glue stick. I just don't trust my glue stick. So let's do this. So I have that, and then I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to put it here like this so that it wraps around and goes over the back a little bit. Yeah. And now, take this and fold that down. And I, I just want to put some of this here. I don't trust the glue stick to hold these corners down on their own, especially not on the covers. There. So, okay. So I haven't got this back part glued down yet because I want to get that front part good and straight. So now I have to do this and I have to go around. So I'm going to take my ruler and put it there. I'm going to take my ruler and put it right in here where that fold goes to because I want it just to firm that up so that I can fold this like this because this has to wrap around and if I don't play with this paper and stretch it a little bit and I lay it flat and then go to do it it's going to pull in all the wrong places So let me see, there's another bit here. Each side's glued down, that side. So I want to fold here so that I want it on this fold as well. Because that's the whole spine, right? So I'm going to give it some good stretching here. Do some stretches. There. So I'm not going to glue any more glue in there than what's there. I'm just going to glue this flap. I put a little bit of glue on there first so that I'd have a little bit extra to slide around there. So now I'm going to do this. And I'm going to let it dry like this.
So I have a front and I have a back. I'm going to move to the middle. And I'm going to cover this little flap in the middle. So I found this absolutely adorable light pumpkin-y peachy colored dots with these little lines between. It's very pretty. And I cut two pieces. I'm going to put this in here like this. And I'm sliding it under, guys, because I want to cover. I want to cover that background as well as this flap. I'm going to. I'm going to glue this flap. Okay, so I'm going to take it like this. And I'm going to put lots of glue right there. I'm always, when I'm doing this, I'm always thinking, I don't want this paper to rip. I don't want this paper to bend. Is this fold going to be moving? Should I, is, if this is going to be moving when I open and close my pages, is it going to be okay? So that, I'm just going to take a little dab, run that. And then I'm going to line this up. I'm going to line it right there so that that, see that? I want that nice and even. There. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to flip this over. I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side because I've cut both of these the same. So this is going in here. And then this is going to be glued. Just like this. Just like that. And I'm going to take my little tip and put some glue on the paper because this comes in and it's rounded, right? So, because that comes in and it's rounded, there. Alrighty, so let's see what we can do with this piece. So now we're going to pull this back out, and we're going to pull it out too. Oops, I hit my tripod again. I'm famous for that. Let us see how I can get this as close, as close as possible. There. So I have this, whether the page is this way or whether the page is this way. So I used the same paper back to back. And that's okay because I'm not seeing it in two different spots. I'm only seeing it in one spot at a time. So now I have this lovely pocket here liking this and what about something like this wood grain here like that that might work i like that i like the idea so i'm just going to do my measurement again remember your measurement will be different for your height and for your for all your stuff I'm just doing my measurement. So if you remember from the first video, all envelopes are different. So you'll have to take your own measurements. But you can do this, guys. It's easy. And I'm going to cut this in half. How much room do I need there? So two inches will do that. So I'm just going to cut a two inch strip here and another two inch strip.
I have enough left over of this to make a belly band somewhere. Anything that's over an inch and a half, I'll, I'll, I'll try to save it. Um, because you can make belly bands and things like that out of the, um, the skinny scraps. So this part goes much faster. Once you start doing this and you get your, your bits in here. So, yeah, I'm going to slide this under, get it right in there. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use some wet glue for this. And I'm going to do both the front and the back inside cover this little strip exactly the same way. So I'll show you one. Cover it with your glue stick, your glue, whatever it is that you're going to use. Um, and make sure you've got a couple of minutes of playing time because that has to be slid under and in. It can't grab too, too fast. That's why I like wet glue for this. So I want that up like that and I want that right tight against there. So I'm just trying to get it as close here as I can get it. I don't want too much white showing right there. So that's down and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Flip to my back cover. I'm going to do the exact same thing in here. I'm going to put that same piece in there. So, okay. Now another little bend here, guys. This, grab, hold down. Hold down, and I want this edge back because that's my fold. That's my fold. There. There. And always give yourself a couple of minutes after you do each piece to let it dry. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, so this is my spine here. That's what I keep putting my spine back in. Every time I put another piece on it, I put my spine back in. Yeah. There, so my spine's there still and good. This is going to go. So I want this to be covered over. I wasn't thinking about that. See, sometimes you don't think far enough ahead. I want this to be covered all the way to the bottom because I want this to be my pocket, guys. So I am going to make that the right. This is the one that I didn't measure right. So I've, I've made a mistake and I'm going to show you how I'm going to rectify it. So because I started in the middle, I just chose to start in the middle. There was no reason for it. And I kind of don't, I kind of want this to be um, a flap. So I'm going to take this out of here. I am going to put, I mean, a little piece of cardstock to put under just under that so I don't cut through it and then I'm going to take my my ruler I need my cut to be it would help I think if I put a little tick where I need to cut to pen yeah you, you have to sometimes make mistakes guys There. Here's a smaller piece of cardstock that'll fit under here a little bit better because I don't want to cut. I don't want to cut through my page. I just want to cut this flap off. So what am I going to use for that? I am going to use my X-Acto knife. And I'm going to cut very lightly until this comes off like 
that so that I didn't cut through my page. I'm going to end up having to go, so I may as well do it right now. I may as well go to this side and do it too, eh? So let's get this out of here. I forgot about these being pockets that we're going to open here. So I'm going to take this and put it right under this edge. Once again, I am going to take the ruler and put it against here. And I'm going to do this really lightly. So, so I'm kind of just scoring it so that I can rip it off like that without having cut through my page and cutting my page off. Now I can put my piece of paper all the way over here, which is what I wanted. I'm going to do this page by page as I go. What I'm going to do is do my two inside pages and I'm going to glue them. So I've been just cutting up some papers to match my inside pages. Were what were my inside pages? I cut them. There it is. So my inside pages are going to be this and this. What do you think, guys? I like it. I like it. I really, really do, actually. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this. Now, I think I'm actually just going to use my tape runner for this because it's just a straight glue, glue down. And why not, eh? Let's do it the easiest way we possibly can. So, I can do that side. A little hair. A cat likes to share, I guess. And once again, the only place that I want to use the wet glue, get that right to the edge, is going to be along that edge, right there, this edge. So I didn't run my glue tape up there. Okay. So get this edge. This is the most important. That's my wet glue edge. And I want it to be perfect. I want it to be perfect. There. Okay. Okay. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I think I'll just run my glue. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to run my glue runner. Or my, not my glue, my wet glue right down here. And then just run my glue tape on here. So let's do this one. You can't see very good on the white on white, can you? I keep trying to figure out what to use for my tabletop when I'm filming so that you guys can see the best and in so many things the white works but it doesn't work in everything so put that right to there Make sure it's right on there and lined up where it needs to go and then drop it. 
Now, that's perfect. So I'm liking this. I like that first page. I like that first page. I love this and this. And this is so neutral, like a barn door type of look almost, or the side of a barn, that gray planking. Very fall. So, go to the back. Do the same thing. Let's put our papers down for the back. Get the right two, not my scraps. Next page. My next page is going to be this color. Isn't that pretty? Now for this one, I'm going to run some of this just on here so that this will stick down. But the rest of this is going to be my liquid glue because this piece has to be good here like that. I'm going to use the wide nib here, but for the bottom, this is the bottom of my pocket now. So I'm going to use the skinny line. Just going to go here, here, and I'm going to go along the bottom here. Like that. Like that. I'm checking. I'm checking. <sighs> I glued that down wrong, guys. Oh, I'm so upset now. I'm so upset now. I glued that piece of paper down wrong. I'm going to have to cover it. That's my back, and I put it on my front, and I put it on that, and I put it on upside down. Oh, I'm going to have to cover that. And that was one of my favorite pieces of paper in the whole thing. So the struggle's real, guys. The struggle is real. I just um, flipped that over into my glue as soon as I realized what I had done there. I'm not liking it very much. I'm going to put this one this way. Yep. I turned it around so many times that I turned it around one too many times. That's so if you make a mistake like that, <laughs> so many people say, um, I can't do it. I make too many mistakes. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> Let me see now. That's the back. See? Because I put this on here or that wouldn't have mattered. That wouldn't have mattered. And I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that over it. Yep. I'm just going to put that over it. I'm sad. I'm sad, guys. Well, the struggle's real. We all make mistakes. I feel really awful. Um, well, I mean, it's a piece of paper, but <laughs> I really like that pumpkin pattern. I wanted to get one more use out of it. Yeah, I just thought it would be nice to get one more use out of it. That would have been really lovely. Okay, so that's my back. I'm going to have to do a lot of decorating in here. Maybe I can use this little scrap that's left over and put a belly band on this back page with that. Maybe that's what I'll do because I so want to have some of this. I'm going to stick that right in there so that I do that. I am, I am. Okay. So this one and I'm 
Let me see. That one and i got to find one to go with this now. It's I'm kind of, yeah, that kind of makes sense because this border looks really pretty underneath this. It really does. So let's see if I can do something like that here and make this and this look good together. I think I can do that this way. I have some of this that I used there. I have some of that that I might put there. It doesn't fit that. Some of that that I might put there, like that. And then, okay, I know what I'm going to put there. I am going to put, that's there, that's there. I'm going to put this here because it has some green in it, and it has some of this color in it. And it has some of this color in it. So that one's going there. So. It's picking out papers for me. It's like decorating a house. <laughs> it really is. Um, it's not easy. I bring home 50 paint colors before I decide on one. I mean like paint chips and samples. And... I'm going to make sure exactly the height of this one this time. I don't want to make a mistake because I don't want to use all that up. So five, five and a half, five and a half, right there. Yeah, it makes a nice transition because you've got a lot of colors showing here. You've got a lot of colors showing here and it has to look good going this way and going this way. Yep, that's the one. That's the one. So, right down my edge. This is the only thing that... Um, The only thing that I found that spreads my glue, like just exactly where I want it. And I'm going to go, oh, I took the wrong end off. I'm going to go down here, across here, and down here. like that and that'll hold it down there's no up or down on this one so I think I'm okay this way oh my There. And then the green one is going here. So let's get my measurement. I forgot what the measurement for this was. I think it's four and a half. Let's measure and see how far off I am. <laughs> No, that was the four and a half. Okay, so four and a half. Let's hope our um, let's hope our measurements on my ruler and my four and a half are the same. Okay. 
This one is no direction. If you did this with papers that had no direction, it would be so easy. Like just so easy. I do love this glue. <laughs> I'd rather take my time when I'm putting my glue on and make sure that I get everything right. There. So then I have one more to do. One more to do. This one. And what do you think, guys? This does kind of go with that and that. I'm not fond of this. This isn't my favorite paper from that paper pad, but I'm still going to use it. I'm still going to use it. So what have I got this time? Okay. You guys have heard me talking so many different measurements and it's not a tutorial. Remember my measurements. Remember that my measurements are not going to be your measurements. They aren't. There. My measurements. That should be the last. I need the paper trimmer for this. For this suction. There. And once I glue this down, this is complete. This part. Okay, so the front cover, this page, this page, I love that. I love the center. I just, I love the, the whole center part and then the back. So this is going to be green, green, but it's okay because I am going to put that pumpkin belly band in there. That's good. Don't touch this. Where's that piece of pumpkin paper? And how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to wet glue right across the top here. There and here. I don't squeeze very hard and sometimes I don't squeeze at all. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put this 
right here like this. I didn't center it. I centered it more. I wanted it that way just a little, maybe even a little bit more, so that it looks more like a stripe down the center of the page all on the one color. There, so that should dry well. And then I have another tuck spot. So the next part of this video is going to be decorating it. So I will be adding some cutouts. I will be taking some of my papers and cutting them down into tags. And I will be, um, you know, maybe finding a few doilies, things like that. So come on back for part three of this. And I want to put, you know, um, some, some of these types of pockets. Just the rest. Come on back and see what I do to finish this up. So I'm going to get busy and start cutting a bunch of my papers up and turning them into things to stick in here. And I'll, um, I'll get busy doing another video. You guys can see part three as soon as I can get it up. So thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, go and do that so that you can see part three. I definitely hope you watched part one to see how I put this together in the first place. And, um, yeah. So take care, everybody. Be safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.